But you have to say for yourself. What's for dinner? What's going on here? What's that stink? What's this for? What time is it? What's that? Elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> Hey, my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Watson's World. Big up on yourself, no people. Um, happy Tuesday morning. Today is the 4th of May, by the way. And people, may I read the news coming out of Jamaica as per usual, and may I tell you, say, it makes me sad. I think I'm going to stop look on news coming out of Jamaica. I think I'm just going to shift this channel away from them something, because it, it, it just... It mash up my whole day sometimes. You know, I worry about my country and the state and my country and the mindset of the people them there. Really and truly. I'm sorry for the, 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 the women in our country and what they go through. I'm sorry for the children them. So I read one article about this little girl who lived with her grandmother. Apparently, she took a shortcut as Wally Pawee in Jamaica know, when you're living in the country, sometimes you take a shortcut for reach where you go faster. The only thing with shortcuts is that sometimes shortcuts are lonely. And I'm saying shortcut is not always a good thing because it, sometimes you have to go through some bush and them something there. But anyway, this 13 year old girl, Pitney, a baby, still baby, 13 year old girl took this shortcut. She was intercepted by this youth, right? Him wall her down and buggered her. Him do something to her back part, right? I mean, I know when since them start to them something there. But, um, you know, we understand, say, rape and them something, a big, a big problem in Jamaica. Um, sex abuse and them something, a big something. But this is a little girl. I mean, I know when since man started to them something there to women. We understand anyway, you know, yeah, so in Bogota and him, 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 you know, then call him four other friends them and them do the same thing. Yeah, man, in our back part. I don't understand people, me not, it, it, it pain my heart right now, you know, me can't comprehend it, me can't understand the state of our society and where we young people have gone. How far them stray from the path of, of morality and righteousness. So this little, young, this little girl is now left with a trauma for the rest of our life. And what could have in a them a youth your mind for them to do something like that? Hmm? People, me not understand it, me not understand it, me not understand it, and it, it painful. It pain my heart, it pain, I, I, anyway, um, another article, guys, that I saw on Loop News this morning, right, which is also very painful. A 20-year-old man arrested for reportedly sexually assaulting a five-year-old boy. So, people, it's not only our little girls anymore. But we also have to worry about our little boys. At one point, we could have looked at our little boy them and said, yeah man, them safe, nobody not trouble them. But no, not again, people. Not again, we have to worry about our little boy them, you know. So we have, to, as parents, we now have to be on our P's and Q's. We have to watch with them like a hawk. You remember that little saying there, eh? <laughs> Watch your pit them like a hawk, like a chicken hawk, eh? <laughs> but I don't know, people. So the, the news say a 20-year-old man has been arrested for reportedly buggering a five-year-old boy in St. Anne. The identity of the suspect is being withheld pending further investigations by the police. While it is not clear when the sexual assault of the minor occurred, it is understood that the mother was about to bathe the boy on the weekend when he complained of feeling pain in his anus. The mother then saw that the area had been injured. <laughs> My God. 
The matter was reported to the police and the suspect was arrested on Sunday. The incident comes on the heels of another case of a buggery involving a 13-year-old girl in the parish last week. It was reported that on Monday, April 26th, the teen was sexually assaulted by five young men in an unfinished house in an undisclosed St. Anne community. Meanwhile, the Child Protection and Family Services Agency, in a statement on Monday, said it has launched investigations into the two cases of sexual assault in St. Anne. Sorry about that, people. So in relation to the case involving the teen girl, CPAFSA said she um, has been referred for counseling and intervention. A team of first respondents visited the teen's community and conducted a risk assessment in an effort to provide targeted intervention in the child's best interest. The agency stated adding that the family has been referred for therapeutic sessions and parent training in relation to the second case that was received on Monday involving in a five-year-old boy from the Colgate community of St. Anne who was reportedly abused by a 20-year-old man. CPFSA said contact has been made with the child's family. Additionally, arrangements have been made for a team of first responders to conduct a, a, a home visit. Further, the agency said the child guidance clinic is to provide urgent counseling intervention to the boy. In light of the recent cases of sexual abuse of children, State Minister in the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information, Robert Morgan, condemned the reported abuse and called on communities to be forceful in the care and protection of our children. Morgan added that we need to get to the point where everyone sees it as their duty to protect children, the CPFSA stated. Perpetrators should not feel comfortable when they commit violent acts against our children, he added. Meanwhile, Morgan re um, reminded parents that proper supervision is key. And when you are unable to physically be with your child, ensure that appropriate arrangements are made for their care. It is no longer okay to assume your child is being cared for because an adult is nearby. That is so true. Me, me talk about trust, you know. Me talk about trust in another video, you know. Somehow we trust too much. You understand? When it come on to our pit name, we trust people to look after them and, you know, and left with putting them to suffer in the hands of other um, people. So parents are their trusted adult designate must be able to account for a child and whereabouts at all times, he stressed. As part of a child month activities, the CPFSA will be conducting a community motorcade and walkthrough on Friday, May 7th in St. Anne, um, the statement indicated. So people, this is what I'm going to jam down. So with all of the other problems, with the high levels of crime and violence and gun violence, we have our children um, now being targeted by these predators. My thing say Jamaica is full time. We start to, you know, really advance with system and start to have a, 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 a what you call it now, a sex offenders register. No? Yeah, man, have a sex offenders register. We put people from from a register, even when them them let them out of prison, and make sure say they are being monitored. Make sure say picnic stay far from far from them. People, it break my heart. Me no know. I don't know if I want to do this anymore on this channel. Honestly. Ah, sometimes I said to myself, I wish there was just something I could do. I, I, I wish, I don't know, I wish that I could have snapped my finger. I wish that, you know, I wish me have money a certain way to help out some of them look youth here, some of these little children in these homes that have no guidance. Some of these homes will not have no parents. Some of these homes where the parents need training. 
um, yeah, I think parents need training and we kind of take it for granted that um, our children are safe in Jamaica. No? Not again. One time when you're a little youth, you could uh, run go down the road and go shop and you know, say, all right, you know. Um, yeah, man, holy power when we're a little youth, we feel safe at Jamaica because we know so them there's something there now go happen. You understand? But nowadays, a different Jamaica we are dealing with. Yeah, man, different levels, different levels, people. This is all I have to share with you this morning. Um, tell me what you think about the system in Jamaica. Do you think that Jamaica is doing enough to protect our children? Eh? You don't think them put enough measures in place, um, enough systems, enough services in place to really protect our children? Because we have seen our children suffering over the years from these kinds of things. Eh? Our little girls know our little boys. Yeah, man, leave in the comments down below. Or you can send me an email. Um, if you want to check the description below, you know, send me an email address. And tell me what you think. I'd like to hear from you guys. Until next time, my beautiful people. Yeah, man, peace out, all right?